Once upon a time, in the bustling city of Agrabah, there lived a greedy vegetable seller named Hassan. He was known throughout the market for his deceitful practices and his obsession with wealth. One scorching summer day, as Hassan set up his vegetable stall in the heart of the market, a young and impoverished boy named Aladdin passed by. Aladdin's family was struggling to make ends meet, and he often resorted to petty theft to feed his family. As he looked at the colorful vegetables on display, he couldn't help but admire their freshness and flavor. Hassan, always on the lookout for an opportunity to make more money, saw Aladdin's longing gaze and decided to take advantage of the situation. He approached Aladdin with a sly smile and said, Young boy, I can see you're hungry. How about a deal? I'll give you a bag of these succulent vegetables, but in return, you must fetch me a mysterious lamp hidden deep within the Cave of Wonders. It's said to contain great treasures. Aladdin, driven by his desire to taste the delicious vegetables, agreed to the deal without hesitation. He set off on a perilous journey to the Cave of Wonders, which was rumored to be filled with deadly traps and guardians. With bravery in his heart, Aladdin entered the cave and found the enchanted lamp. As he reached for it, he accidentally brushed against a dusty old lamp next to it. To his surprise, the old lamp began to tremble and, in a swirl of smoke, a magical genie emerged. Thank you for releasing me, young one, said the genie. I am the genie of the lamp, and I shall grant you three wishes. Aladdin was overjoyed and wished for food to feed his family. In an instant, a lavish feast appeared before them. He shared the food with the genie, who was grateful for his compassion. Now, Aladdin faced a dilemma. He had the lamp, which could grant him his wishes, but he still needed to fulfill his promise to Hassan. He returned to the market, where Hassan eagerly demanded the lamp. Aladdin handed it over, but Hassan had no idea of the lamp's true power and impatiently rubbed it. The genie appeared before a bewildered Hassan, who demanded wealth and power. The genie granted his wishes, making Hassan the richest man in Agrabah. However, Hassan's newfound wealth only fueled his greed and he began to hoard even more vegetables, driving up prices and causing suffering to the people. Aladdin, realizing the lamp's true potential, managed to retrieve it once more, and this time he wished for a fair and just rule in Agrabah. The genie transformed the city into a haven of prosperity, with wealth distributed equally among all citizens. Hassan, no longer the richest man, learned the value of compassion and started a vegetable charity to help the less fortunate. Agrabah flourished as a harmonious and bountiful city, thanks to Aladdin's selfless wishes. In the end, Aladdin, having learned the importance of using power wisely, freed the genie from the lamp, allowing him to experience true freedom. The two became lifelong friends, and their adventures continued, but now focused on spreading kindness and happiness throughout the land. And they all lived happily ever after.